Hello, I'm Jenny Parker and in this short video I'll just show you how to join Digo and to access the bookmarks so that you can add your own Digo bookmarks to a specific group. I'm actually using a tool called Jing, J-I-N-G, to create this little screen capture. Okay, so if you go to digo.com, www.digo.com, you'll see the welcome page. You can click on the get started now or you could click on the join Digo. When you click on the join Digo, you'll be taken to the create your account page. Fill in your details and then click on continue. Once you've clicked on that, you'll be sent an email so you can just activate your account. So open up your mail account and you'll see that the email is there. Activate your Digo account. Come down and click on the link. And that will take you to the library. Now depending on which browser you're using, which toolbar you will need to install, but you can see the next step here is it just says get the feature rich Digo toolbar. And I'm using Firefox. And there's a, a Digolet or a full toolbar for Firefox. Either of them are fine, but I go for the full toolbar. Allow that to install. And then I just need to restart my Firefox. And now we can see that I have Digo. There's a special toolbar being added and it says bookmark, highlight, capture, send, etc, etc. Okay, so there's all sorts of options there. And then I'm going to flip back into my email, the Open Educational Resource Work Group. You should have got an invitation. So you just go to your email and find that invitation and click on the Join This Group button. And that now adds me as a member for this particular group. And here I can choose whether I get notifications immediately or daily or weekly. I usually just go for the daily one. Now to bookmark a particular site, all you need to do is find the page, the web page that you want to bookmark and then on your Digo bookmark here you just click bookmark. You can see that it automatically gives information. You just type in a description if you want, add some tags, add your own tags as well as the suggested ones. And then under the more options you need to make sure you click on share with a group and select the group and if you're only a member of one group so far that will just come up. Now it's already telling me it's shared there because I've already saved this one but that's all you do and click on save and then you will see it in your Digo. Going back to my library I can now see what's added into my library and at the top here you can see the my groups and if you click on that you'll see that you come up with your group and if you click on it you can see there's one new item updated since I was last there.